<laughs> Pike, this is Herman Munster. Never mind that. You can't treat my niece that way. Oh, yeah? Usually I'm not a violent man, but I'm coming over there right now and punch you in the nose. <laughs> Fanny? Fan... Fanny! Yes? <laughs> Who was that at the door a few minutes ago? Huh, as if you didn't know. That snippy little blonde of yours, that, that Marilyn Munster, or whatever her name is. No, that's what he meant. Her uncle is on his way here now. He's... Well, well he's indescribable. Now, you'll have to leave immediately. I'll stay here and defend our home. Oh, I get the picture. Really, Borden, you're not about to use child psychology on me again. No! You can't get I... rid of me that way. Obviously, that little blonde creature is on her way here right now. No, it's her uncle! Oh, well, don't think I'm gonna make it easy for the two of you. I'm not about to. And if there's any home defending to do, you can be sure I'm gonna do it! It's him! It's her. <laughs> Now you stop that laughing, Eddie. I can't help it. Daddy looks so funny with that thing in his nose. Remind that. Now, you just finish your breakfast, and you'd better start dawdling, or you're going to be on time for school. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, when Morning, Mr. Pike... Morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, isn't this a beautiful day? Thank you. Does anybody mind if I continue with my story? Not while I'm eating. All right. I won't tell you what happened. Oh, please, Herman, dear, do, do tell us what happened. All right. When Mr. Pike came out and saw his wife lying on the floor, he thought I hit her. He punched me in the nose. Oh, poor dear. Oh, oh. Well... Oh, uh, one thing, though, I think it cured my sinus. <laughs> I'll get it. I'm afraid the weather's turning bad. Uh, I, I came to apologize. You see, w w when your niece uh, came to my house, my wife was expecting someone else who uh, never showed up. That's all right, Mr. Pike. I can understand it. It happens to me a lot, too. I'm, I'm sorry I hit you. I'm not ordinarily a violent man, but when I saw my wife lying there, I... I, I... Uh, uh, lost your head? Y yes, that's right. Right on the nose. Oh. Please don't. Uh, don't say it uh, on, on the note. <laughs> well, well, if you're still interested in the deal, uh, I brought a check uh, for the amount that we agreed upon, $1,500 for the uh, right of way, if you'll just uh, sign the contract. <laughs> don't you sign that. But the mayor's waiting in my office. If, if I don't bring this contract back with your signature, he'll have my head. Uh, Grandpa, we made a deal. Uh, uh, majority rules. Don't be a sore loser. <laughs> the pike you won't get away with this i'm sorry grandpa but we made a deal Heel, grandpa. down grandpa down <laughs> oh mr again oh, these darn contact lenses <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive grandpa mr pike uh, he doesn't give up easily. Oh, that, that, that's all right. Uh, here. You can use my pen. Oh, thank you. I don't understand. 
understand. It's a brand new pen. Well, I'm a man that always knows when he's beat. Uh, here. Uh, why not use mine? Thank you, Grandpa. Uh, you won't be sorry. You can say that again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, won't you come in, Mr. Pike? I was just about to brew a fresh flagon of tea. No, no thank you. I want to thank you, Mr. Munster. Ever, ever since your visit to my house, my, my wife's been a changed woman. She says from now on she'll believe anything I say. Well, it's nice to know as we go through life, we can bring a little happiness to others. Well, you've made me a very happy man. <laughs> Nice man. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, it's, uh, it's Mrs. Cribbins from next door. Oh? Really? I see. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Oh, uh, uh, thanks for calling, Mrs. Cribbins. Herman? What, what's the matter? What, what's the matter, Herman? Mrs. Cribbins and everyone else on the block got $3,500 from the gas company. <laughs> and we only got $1,500. Well, he took advantage of our good natures. I was right. I knew we couldn't trust that man. Wait a minute. Here's another check for $5,000. Dear Munsters, a little bonus for all your trouble and inconvenience. Your friend Borden. Oh, how generous of him. Uh, 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 there's more. A uh, uh, P.S. After 30 years, I'm finally a happily married man. Since my wife and I met you, we've never looked so good to each other. How sweet. Isn't it? Of course, we can't possibly keep the money. I mean, we just can't take money for helping people. I guess you're right as usual, Lily. It's like taking blood money. Don't try to cheer me up. I feel bad enough. What do you mean? My pen was filled with disappearing ink. <laughs> I just can't seem to get the right wavelength. Grandpa, that crystal ball doesn't work anymore. All you ever get are the reruns of My Little Margie. <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got it! Pike, you're a disgrace. Men like you give gas a bad name. But your honor, I saw Mr. Munster sign that with my own eyes. I, I don't Pike, understand what... I suggest you resign and give up drinking in that order. <laughs> Grandpa, how did you do that? I guess it's just in his blood. I'll drink to that. 